What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're showcasing an Iron Jugglers team for ranked regulation. Now, Iron Jugglers, you don't get to see too much in ranked regulation. This is actually my first time seeing it and going to be my first time using it in this format. Iron Jugglers has Quirk Drive and the Booster Energy as item. Then its moveset is phenomenal with Air Slash for Stab, Snarl for Special Attack Drops, Tailwind, and Protect. Now, three other Pokemon that really are going to thrive with Iron Jugglers is going to be Fluttermane, Ogre Pond, and Incineroar. Pop the Tailwind, have those Pokemon get after it. They really do thrive on Tailwind. Now, the other half of the team is going to be Ferrigraph and Ursaluna. You guys already know where I'm going with this. This is going to be our Trick Room side of things. Ursaluna is arguably the best Pokemon in Trick Room, and Ferrigraph is one of the best Trick Room setters in the game. So, again, this team is basically half and half. You got your Tailwind side of things, then you got your Trick Room side of things. If you guys want to rent the team for yourself, the rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you like it up and take two seconds out of your day to subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing this Iron Jugulus ranked regulation F team. We're going up against a pretty meta squad here in match number one. Going up against Incineroar and Rillaboom alongside with Landorus, Tornadus, Fluttermane, and Urshi. How are we going to lead this one? Who should we play? I could lead our Tailwind setter, which wouldn't be bad. Or I could lead Trick Room. Trick Room wouldn't be bad as well, and I think I might rock out with Trick Room. Let me just check the speeds of like Ogre Pond and Iron Jugglers. 155, Flutter Mane's probably like 180. Yeah, 190 about. And then Iron Jugglers probably like 160. Yeah, 158. Okay, so these guys, again, do not thrive out in Trick Room, but maybe I do want to go into Trick Room because these two Pokemon can really get kicking within that Trick Room. How do I want to play this one? What is my call? They can't fake me out if I have these Pokemon on the field. But maybe I could just go into my fake out user, intimidate them, and then maybe just like party shot out of there. That is an option. That is an option. And that is something I like. You know what? We're going, we're going to go in with the Tailwind side of things. I'm going to say screw the Trick Room side of things. We're going straight Tailwind side, Fluttermane, Ogre Pond, Incineroar, and Iron Jugs. Iron Jugs, baby. This Pokemon's so cool. I do like it. I actually do like Hydreigon a little bit better. I feel like a few Paradox forms nailed it on the head where they're they're cooler than their original. But I feel like all the futuristic Paradox forms are just the same. They're just like steel type prototypes of the other Pokemon, right? It, it, it's like you grabbed an artist and it was just like, hey, can you make this Pokemon out of steel? And they're like, yeah, there you go. Here's your Paradox form. Whereas the other ones, like the uh, Ragey Bolt and all that, they look totally different and a lot cooler, you know? So, we'll see. Let's see who they're going to end up leading. They got Tauros in their little profile picture, which is sick. Just a herd of them. And they're going to end up leading Rillaboom? Incineroar? Incineroar Urshifu. Okay. Incineroar Urshifu. So, we do get off a beautiful Intimidate onto both of these guys. Something that we have to watch out for is going to be this lovely... Uh, what is it called? This lovely Surgeon Strikes. Crits all day. I'm going to boost your energy up. I'm going to pop it into, I believe, speed here. Yeah. A nice little speed boost. So, right now, my Iron Chug's probably fast on the field unless... Unless... Unless that thing is choice. So, their Incineroar is going to outspeed my Incineroar, which is a little bit of a problem. Just a tad bit of a problem. I could Terrasilize. And I might... Or I could just straight up hard swap into you. And I think that's what I'm going to do here. And I'm just going to try to set up a table. Cause it's not gonna fake out anybody. It's gonna be the it's gonna be the Incineroar. I'm gonna set up Tailwind here. I'm gonna go into my Water Absorb Ogre Pond here. I kind of hope that Surgeon Strikes is attacking that slot, right? Cause that thing's minus one. I would think the only move he would go for is Surgeon Strikes. So Fake Out is gonna come into the slot. Show me the Surgeon Strikes. Show me the Surgeon Strikes. It would be lovely. You're gonna U-turn. Never mind. U-turn coming out here. So smart play for him. I mean, I don't mind the swap either. Because now I have Incineroar in the back end. And I get off Tailwind. So, not bad here. They could hard swap the Incineroar, which is most likely going to happen. So, I might read a Horn Leech in that slot. They're going to go Rillaboom instead. So, if Rillaboom comes out here, I could start Air Slashing that up. Um, hmm. What's my play here? You got Fake Out Raider Roll. You have Fake Out Raider Roll. Could throw an, I'm going to throw an Ivy Cut on the slot. And I'm just going to go into a nice little air slash here. I can always swap out and intimidate. They could swap. They could terrestrialize. I'm hoping they just stay in, right? And not terrestrialize and we just dump on Incineroar. But I doubt it, right? 
I just don't want to make a hard read here and go for Horn Leech into the Incineroar slot. Thinking that they're going to swap into Urshifu. That's really what I think is going to happen. But I'm not going to make the read this early here. And they're just going to fake out. Okay, they're just going to fake out that Pokemon. That's fine. They're going to fake out and go for a Flare Blitz here? Possibly, right? Probably. You are minus one, which is good. And now he's just going to Parting Shot. Okay. So your Parting Shot's out. This might be a good turn for me to actually swap into Incineroar. Depending on who they go into. That's fine. That is fine. Or I can stay in with Iron Jugs and pop another Air Slash. If I want to. If I want to. So he's going to get a Speed Boost. I do have Tailwind rocking. Um, I think I'm just going to stay in at this point. Because Air Slash should KO Rillaboom. But I think here we just go for Ivy Cudgel into Fluttermane. And I could Terrasalize you getting that Dark type off of me. Which isn't bad at all. And just Air Slash. Because I might just want to stay on the field, try to get off another turn, because I believe Trick Room ends rather soon, right? Or not Trick Room, Tailwind. Two turns. I could just protect in this turn. I could protect. But I think I'd rather just Air Slash. Yeah, I'm going to Terrasalize Air Slash. Even though I'm minus one, I think Tailwind Control is going to be so big in this battle right here, that we're just going to stay, stay in here and get after it. So he's going to swap out. You're going to go back into Incineroar. Yeah, you go back into Incineroar here. Little tough news on our Ogre Pond's end, but hopefully we can get a crit or something. Hopefully we can just drop a big time crit. Our attack's gonna drop again. He has Fake Out ready to go. And I might just end up double protecting the next turn. I don't know. We'll see. But we're trying to slice and straighten the steel. We're not dealing with none of this Flutter Mains nonsense, right? A lot of swap ins, a lot of swap outs. Iron Chuggies actually plays a decent role. He's gonna be he's gonna be huge. Because Air Slash is gonna be great. We might want to swap him in a little bit. But Air Slash is gonna be. Minimal damage. Ivy Cudge are going to fly here. Give me a crit. Let me just take out this Fluttermane. Not bad damage, though. Moonblast is going to fly here. And guess what? I'm Steel. I'm Steel, baby. I'm Steel, and I get back some HP. So from here, I believe they are going to fake out the Ogre Pond. You know what? I'm just going to drop a double protect. Now it's the turn to drop double protect. Right? I'm sick of fake outs, man. What do I swap Ogre Pond? Because I could swap Ogre Pond into my Incineroar if I want to. Just have fake out ready to go. You know what? That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get we're gonna get Intimidate rolling here. And then I'm just gonna snarl here. I could air slash if I want to, but Yeah, I'm just going to snarl here just so we can try to get off another Tailwind the next turn. So I'm swapping Ogre Pond. I know I was minus one. This is such a good match. I don't know why. I've just been having these really good matches when recording rank regulation. I don't know why. I don't know why. Swaps in and out are crazy. We both still have all four Pokemon, which is absurd. And Intimidate's going to fly out before Incineroar. And she's going to protect this Pokemon. That, that's cool. I'm cool with that. And you going for Flare Blitz? Oh, you going for Flare Blitz. You go. Oh, that's good. That's a great call on their end. Really good call on their end to just not fake out. I did put a minus one. I just don't think we're eating up this flare blitz, right? I just don't see it happening. No, you go for a party shot. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. So I'm able to probably get off Tailwind next turn. And they're going to go into who? Rillaboom? Possibly, right? Probably. Most likely. Right? So now I get back a little bit more HP. I think Rillaboom comes out here. It could actually be Urshifu. And it is Urshifu. Not Urshifu sitting here a little weird. I know we outspeed, so Tailwind's going to be our best friend. I'm going to have to fake out that Urshifu here. That's fine by me. So Tailwind gone. They could end up detecting. I'm going to go for a fake out and set up yet another Tailwind. That's the play. That's the play. Oh, my Lord. Yo. <laughs> this is a match. This is a match, yo. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying it. Grab some popcorn. Whoever my opponent is, hopefully, they watch the videos or hopefully, they know who I am. You shout at them. Like, what turn is this? Five, six? No Pokemon lost yet? But soon it's just gonna... Someone's gonna break the ice. It's just gonna be a massacre, right? <laughs> it's just gonna be like just every Pokemon dying at once. The floodgates are gonna open very soon. I gotta fake out ready to roll here. I'm gonna fake out the Urshifu. I really wanna try to party shot, but I'm gonna be able to set up this... I should be able to set up this Tamlin freely this turn. Ends up just withdrawing Urshifu. Going back into Incineroar? Rillaboom comes out here. I don't mind. 
I don't mind. Fake out doing minimal damage. Moonblast flying into this slot. That's fine. I get off this tail. The tailwind is here. I have tailwind and my best bet might just be the parting shot. Or I could make a move here. They're gonna swap into Incineroar. They're swapping right into Incineroar. So you know what? I'm just gonna parting shot. I would love to drop a flare boots here. They could fake me out here too. I'm actually just gonna flare boots. I'm gonna air slash. You could hard swap. Oh man. Oh man, I still have Ogre Pond. Hmm, I gotta I gotta put my thinking goggles on for this one. I gotta figure out a way around this opponent. I think they're thinking the same, but this one's just slow pace. Fake out city, protects. Finally, they use a terror type. They're gonna terrestrialize. I think that's going to be Flutterman, which it is. They're gonna go straight fairy. They go for the straight fairy on the Flutterman. Probably looking to rip a Moonblast into my Incineroar, right? And Robum is going to fake me out. Okay, so fake out comes out here. Can I get an air slash flinch? Can I get an air slash flinch? No, we don't. Moonblast cooking. Can you eat this? You're going after him. What you think I was swapping? Of course you get a special attack shot. Now might be the turn to swap. Or I could stay in the snarl. Or I could stay in the snarl. But you know what? I'm going to parting shot into this thing. And I can't swap. I simply cannot swap. You know what? We're going to go. You know what? We're going to do this. We're going to go parting shot here. And I'm just going to snarl. I'm just going to start snarling. Yep, there we go. Withdrawal of the Real Boom. Go back into Incineroar or Urshifu. Gonna be Incineroar, and I'm just gonna be able to parting shot at here. Mm, my lord. Oh my lord. This game, man. He's just gonna protect. Me. Okay, that's fine. Wow, nice. This would have been a huge turn to double swap. Would have been a huge turn. So I'm swapping here. I'm gonna go into Ogre Pond, I believe. And I think Ivy Cudgel can do. Decent amount of damage. I could attack that Fluttermane next turn. And that might be my play, just to attack the Fluttermane. They could end up hard swapping Fluttermane. But you know what? They're just going to fake out the... Yeah, they're just going to fake out the... What's it called? The Ogre Pond. They might even double down the Ogre Pond, which I would like. Or I could just go into you. I could go into you. Ooh, with that speed? Yeah, and the choice specs, it's time to go into you. You can't be faked out. So Fluttermane coming out here. I'm ready to go. I'm dropping the Dazzling Gleam with the Choice Specs. Ripping with it. Um, they can't fake me out. And now I think it's our best turn to maybe swap back into Incineroar. Just so we have fake out for the turn after. I like it. And keep our Iron Jugs. Or we can just stay in with Iron Jugs and Snarl. Or I could Air Slash. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to double down into this slot. <clears throat> you land a double protect. You land a double protect. This match is absurd. Now I lose my iron jugs, man. With no value out of it. I should have swapped. I should have swapped. But actually, luckily I didn't. Because if I would have swapped, I would have swapped into... Actually, I would have swapped into Incineroar. They're probably flare blitzing me. That's a lean coming out here. Doing some damage. Are you party shotting? You have buried. This battle is starting to get on my nerves. It's too long. It's too long of a battle. We haven't lost anybody yet. This will be the first KO. Flare blitz flying. You got lucky, because your Flutter main should be dead, and we should have traded. But you land a, 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 a double protect. Get on out of here. So now I'm going to go into... Hmm. My Tailwind's going, which is just ugly, right? It's real ugly. And I'm going to go into Incineroar, just so I can fake out that Flutter main. I'm going to fake out the Flutter main, and then I'm ripping another Dazzling Leaf. Because first of all, you're not protecting. Let me, let me, let's get that straight. You're not protecting. So Daz and Gleam coming hot. We're choosing to that. We're faking out this Fluttermane. We need it gone. We need it gone. We need it gone. We're going to swap somebody here too. Hopefully it's not the Fluttermane. I want the Fluttermane gone. And if it is the Fluttermane, they're just sacrificing a Pokemon at this point, right? They're just sacrificing a Pokemon. So, Terra's are going off the field. 
I would love to be able just to fake out and rip a big time dash and gleam here. Cinnamore could party shot. He's just gonna withdraw his Pokemon. So they're gonna go into Rillaboom, sacrifice Rillaboom. Yeah, they're gonna sacrifice Rillaboom here because Rillaboom's rather low HP. Yeah. The Rillaboom is gonna get the sacrifice. And they're probably just gonna party shot with Incineroar just for Intimidate to leave. There's Fake Out. Love it. Can I get a crit onto this Incineroar? No. It would have been awesome. That would be huge. But we get rid of the Rillaboom. Get rid of the Rillaboom. Now they're gonna probably party shot here. And they're gonna go into the Incineroar slot, which I love. Which I love. I don't know why you went to the Incineroar slot. Maybe you thought I was protecting, but I'm Choice Specs. I'm Choice Spec. Okay. Not bad. Now they're forced to bring out. They might go back into Incineroar here. They can. They're probably gonna do that Urshifu and Incineroar. Which I mean, I don't mind. I don't mind if they go back into Incineroar because they're gonna intimidate. They can't fake out the water main. We'll just get after it that way. But they're just going to go right into their own Fluttermane. The Fluttermane comes out here. Dash and Gleam cooking. Um, I don't think we outspeed, which is a problem. Dash and Gleam cooking, and we're just going to double down into this. We're just going to outspeed and go for certain strikes. Wow, I'm dead to that. You're outspeeding me. That's a fast Urshifu. That's a real fast Urshifu. Yeah, it's a real fast Urshifu, and that's just gonna, that's just gonna be game, right? So I think their Moonblast can finish me off. I think their Moonblast can finish me off. No, they're going for Dazzle Gleam. I think we could soak a Gleam. We do soak a Gleam all day. And now I got my Berry cooking. So Berry is cooking. Fingers crossed for his Flare Blitz KOing. Really hoping this Flare Blitz can KO. This could be a big time KO. It does. Okay, so Flare Blitz picks up the KO. Flare Blitz picking up the KO. And now I have Ogre Pond. Ogre Pond's on the field. They have a fake out ready to go. They're going to be able to intimidate, which kind of sucks. But I have some great moves that I can get back a ton of HP from. Okay, so we can't use Surgeon Strikes on my on my Ogre Pond. You cannot. You just cannot. It's just not allowed. But they're probably going to fake out the Ogre Pond, right? Most likely. But I'm still going to attack. Like, I don't mind taking fake out damage because Urshifu hits through all this stuff. And I'm just going to go for a... What are you, only minus one? You only minus one? You're minus two. I was really hoping we could KO with a player, but I don't know if we can, but I'm going to try. I'm definitely going to try. Close combat scare me, man. He ends up faking out you. Okay. This could work out good because he's going to double down thinking I'm going to protect. So now I get off a horn leech. Now I get off a horn leech. And he's forced to go to go into close combat. Isn't he? Okay, so he doubles down, takes out my Incineroar. Horn leech coming in here doing big time damage. Now, the only problem here is Incineroar can do some damage with Flare Blitz, but it probably dies out the recoil. Actually, might be able to soak up a recoil shot. Who do I go after? I think I go after you, because you might be choice. I'm just going to go after Urshifu. Coming down to the wire. He's close combating me here. And he's Flare Blitzing me. I wish I had Terra still. I'm going to go for Horn Leech here. He's going to go for... Oh my lord. Is he choice in the Surgeon Strikes? Is he choice in the Surgeon Strikes? He might be choice in the Surgeon Strikes, giving us the win. Are you choice in the Surgeon Strikes? I think they are, because that thing was rather fast. Flare Blitz going to fly through here. Not going to be able to do enough damage. Beautiful. And the long... How long was this match? 20 minutes? I've been recording this match for 20 minutes. This long 20-minute match is over. Your boy Jeans playing the long game. Told you guys. I'm him. I'm him. We can play the long game too on this channel. There's the win in match number one. Let's go hop into our second match. You guys are getting a bit of a longer video today. 20 minutes. Huge round of applause for our opponent in match number one. That was crazy. Such a strong battle. Came down to one turn and one turn only. And your boy came out on top. But we're hopping into our second match. Going up against a Raging Bolt and Ping Lu team with Gouging Fire, Rillaboom, Urshifu, and Fluttermane. So from here, um, I might bring Trick Room Squad Lakey. I might bring Trick Room Squad Lakin because I do like Ursaluna and how much damage it can do onto all these Pokemon. Really is looking good. Plus, you got normal Terra. 
normal terror. Normal terror is just so solid. Just neutralize everything. But for our lead, I kind of do like maybe Incineroar, or I could just pop a Trick Room early on here. I could pop a Trick Room early on here. Because for their lead, I could see them going into maybe like Ting Lu. It's not bad. Ting Lu is not bad. Um, hmm. You got Mental Herb on this slot. You know, we're going to pop Trick Room here. We're going to pop Trick Room here early on. I'm going to bring Ogre Pond in the back end. And last but not least, Incineroar? Or Fluttermane? I'm going to go Fluttermane. Because Incineroar is rather slow. Incineroar can still thrive out in the Trick Room. Get off a lot of value. And then we will just save our Choice Specs Fluttermane for the back end. Late game kind of style. That's going to be our play here. Ursa Luna coming in here in match number two. That match number one is so good. We actually got to use Iron Jugglers really well. Pop two Tailwinds with that bad boy. Get off some air slashes. Try to get off some snarls, but their uh, their foot of me blocked it twice. But it's all good. We came out on top. But they end up dropping Ting Lu alongside with Gouging Fire. And I actually don't mind this lead at all. Vessel Rune's gonna drop special attack. That's okay. But um, from here, Gouging Fire is gonna pop a nice little booster energy and probably boost its attack stat. No, it's speed. It's getting speedy with it. It's getting real speedy with it. So from here, we definitely want to pop Trick Room. I think we're just going to try to pop an Earth Power in the slot. Because he might think I'm protecting, but I'm really not. They could double down the Fragrant, which would be a little bit of an issue. But do I Terrasalize? Because he is Dark type, but usually the only Dark type move that they rock out with is like Illumination. So you know what? I'm not even going to Terrasalize. I'm just going to Snarl him. Oh, you have Snarl? That's real ugly. That's real ugly. We don't like that one. Can I just get a crit and dump on this thing? So it ends up snarling me, and yeah, there's the ruination. So, not too worried about that. Maybe we'll get off tricking, no problem. Earth Power Flying, Stab, super effective. Big time damage. We like that damage. So I am minus one on special attack. I am going to swap into the Trick Room. And I kind of want to just swap the, the Ursaluna here, right? Just go for a Gleam. I didn't bring Incineroar? I brought Ogre Pond instead of Incineroar. I think I did misclick there. Hmm. So you know what? I am going to swap into Ogre Pond here. I'm going to swap into Ogre Pond. I'm going to get my Ursaluna stats back because I really want to get a couple turns with Ursaluna here. Plus, I do think they might swap the guys with Fire or even just protect it with a Burning Bulwark. So we're going to do that, and there's the Burning Bulwark. We get off a nice big time swap. I love the animation of that move. So tough. So tough. I'm going to be able to pop a nice little Gleam Gleam. Minus one Gleam, I should say. This, is, this ain't doing too much damage. Plus, they have the Vessel growing out there. Look at that. Did, like, negative six damage. Oh, okay, they're going to end up Sand to me. So, this Pokemon's kind of here for more so stall purposes. And I think from here, we're just going to rip an Ivy Cudgel into that slot. And then kind of just look to... I guess we get Psychic Noise. This thing, I guess we could. We could go for Horn Leech too. But I'd rather just Ivy Cudgel. He's gonna end up withdrawing that Pokemon. And who you got cooking? Urshifu coming in hot here. You got Urshifu coming in hot. Then you got Rill. Ooh. 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 I'm kinda hoping they just KO the Frigraph. Because again, I wanna get out Ursaluna. Right here, right now. As soon as possible. A little bit of Ursuline action. Psychic so Noise fine here. How much damage is there? Not bad. Would rather KO. One more shot. We'll actually KO it. He cannot heal anymore. Which be I because we're going to come across the board. Bop. Do negative five. The slow paced battles here. Man. Real slow paced battles. So from here, I'm going to swap into Fluttermane. Just so I can dodge the breaking swipe and the uh, and the fake out. And there's two turns left in Trick Room, so I'm really hoping this Pokemon just dies out here. I'm able to rip a Psychic Noise to finish you off, and then get my stats back with you. So Ursaluna is gonna be a tough, a tough get in here. I'm hoping I can get off one really valuable turn, and just pop like a big time Hyper Voice or Blood Moon. But they really kind of countered me with the snarls, and I just wasn't dealing with it, right? Maybe I should have left Ursuline in there instead of swapping it, but I thought I could get it in here quicker, and I thought maybe they would target down the Frigraph a bit more. Here? 
But I think that's what they're going to do here. I think they're going to go for a fake out into the Ogre Pond slot. And on top of that, go for a breaking swipe just to get that minus one attack on the Ogre Pond. But since I'm swapping in Fluttermane, it won't affect us. And that fake out won't affect us either. And then the breaking swipe should KO my, my free. Leaving my Ursaluna one singular turn in the trip. Which would be nice. Which would be nice. And I get to bring out the Fluttermane. And he goes for a Burning Bolt. Okay. That, that, that's fine. That's fine. And he's going to go for the Fake Out. So they leave my Ferrigabat. I have Armor Tail anyway. I totally forgot I had that. Oh my lord. I should have swapped into Ursaluna. Why aren't you attacking me? Why are you not attacking me? Huh. So I can Psychic Noise finish you off. And from here... I'm just going to rip a Moonblast into you. Might take some damage like Grass Glide or something. And he's just going to end up hard swapping this... This Pokemon. So that's fine. He's going to hard swap. Robum's still on the field. He's going to gonna go into Tingle, which is Psychic Move. is not going to affect it whatsoever. She just went for Gleam. Should have just went for a gleam. And dude, what is up with these matches today? Real slow pace. Real slow pace. Real slow pace. A bit too slow of pace for me. So Trick Room already done. Moonblast now cooking. I do have Fluttermane Choice spec now. Without the Trick Room, so that's big. And I think I'm just gonna throw out Ursulina because it could be rather decent here. It could be it could actually be really good here. Because I might just try slice it into the normal and just start ripping. We already know he's going for Grassy Guide. We already know he's going for Grassy Guide. And then I could just go for Hyper Voice to KO that. And then double down into this thing with a Moon Blast. Alright. Slow drawn out battles today. I don't know why. I think everybody hopped on today was just like, hey, I'm going to play it slow. So that's what we're doing today. This might be a 45 minute video. It's looking like it's on pace to do that. I have my little timer up there. I've been recording for about 30 minutes of battles. And we still have battle number three to go to. So there's the grass guy. That's exactly why we terrestrialized into normal. Moonblast going to get cooking with the choice specs. Doing some nice damage. Heavy Slam going to come in here. Ouch. Ouch, that hurt. Heavy Slam. I didn't think you had it considering you are rocking Sand Tomb. But Hyper Voice now going to fly. Pick up a KO onto the Rollaboom. And probably not the Tinglu. I hope the Tinglu. No, we don't get the KO onto the Tinglu. But we have Ogre Pond ready to rock out. So now I'm wondering who they have left here. We know they have Galaxy Fire, who's low on HP. He's low on HP, and I get to bring out the Ogre. So the Ogre Pond's ready to rock. Um, hmm. They're going to go into this little booger. This little booger comes out here. I'm gonna Blood Moon this. I'm not gonna follow me this shot. I'm gonna have to hope that Surge Strike is popping in here. It could be choice. This might be a close combat. I maybe shouldn't have followed me. We'll see. We're really hoping Surge Strikes. We're really hoping Surge Strikes here. We're really hoping it's Surge Strikes. I'm begging. I'm begging you. It'd be Surge Strikes. I'm begging you. So I'm gonna go follow me. Hoping that Surgeon Strikes, if it's close combat, we lose. And it's U-Turn. None of the above. None of the above. None of the above. None of the above. They're going to be able to pick up a KO on the onto my boy. Unless you're going for like a Ruination, which I would love. But I doubt it. Body Press comes in hot here. Takes him out. Yeah, that's game now. Now, now that's definitely game. Yeah, we really want to be certain strikes, but we went for the what's it called? We suck. The U-turn. U-turn doing me dirty. I would have rather them go for close combat, but I kind of screamed that they were choice specs or choice scarf. Right? You got U-turn. A lot of choice scarf Urshfu's on the field right now, but that is going to be match. We're going to be sitting one on one. I'm just going to run this match because now they get to bring out Urshfu. They get to outspeed me, and all they got to do is press close combat and it's game set match. Man, that's upsetting. Honestly, just Tingle was real clutch. We brought in too many special attackers to deal with team with. Definitely too many. So Urshfu comes out here. I'm just going to run it. You guys already know what's happening. Moving on to our final match. And we're going up against another Tinglu team. 
Come on, man. Ting Lu bothered me in the last match. We're sitting one on one and we're looking for that winning record. So, Ogre Pond, definitely gonna come out here. Big time physical attacker. He's gonna be super effective onto a few of these Pokemon. If that's Water Urshfu, it'll be super effective onto that. It's super effective onto Entei. Onto the Ting Lu. We got a lot of different options. So, definitely wanna bring in Ogre Pond. But who do I wanna lead here? The one try go Trick Room side of things? Kinda. I kinda wanna do that. Plus, Free Graph stops first turn priority. Looking really well for us. So, I'm gonna go into both of these guys. And then in the back end, go Ogre Pond. And do I go Iron Jugs? I think we go Incineroar or Fluttermane, to be honest with you. Probably more so Fluttermane. Should we Speckin? Should we Speckin on the Fluttermane? Or do we just go Incineroar with that Intimidate? Hmm, I think we just go Choice Speckin, right? Yeah, we gotta go Choice Speckin. We gotta go Choice Speckin. So we're sitting one-on-one. -on -one. Hopefully you guys are enjoying today's video. We have been having really long battles. The first match was like 20 minutes. The second match was uh, about a... I would say a normal battle, 10, 10 to 15 minutes. But now we're sitting pushing the 40 minute range for today's video. Probably gonna end on around 40 minutes, so. Awesome, you guys getting some extra content. Not extra content because same amount of battles, just like more time on the content, so hopefully you guys are enjoying. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. But I would love to prevail here, grab you guys a winning record. We are one and one. That dang Earth food, I should, I should say that dang Ting Lo in the last match really. Really did a thing because that ability just dropped all of our special attack. Or I say all of our special attack and lose 25%. And let's see if they bring it in this time. And they're just going to go into Ogre Pond Fluttermane. I don't mind. Um, do I stay in here and attack? That's the real question. Do I stay in here and attack? This thing's going to boost our energy. Hopefully it's speed. Of course it's special attack. So we still can do some big time damage to me. Oh, man. I'm gonna have to try to pop trick room. I think they're gonna double down into me, which is a massive problem. But in this case, I get to Blood Moon somebody. And who would I rather Blood Moon? Probably Flutter Mane, just get rid of that, or I can just Hyper Voice it. Could Normal Terror. I'm gonna Normal Terror and Hyper Voice just in case they wanna go after my Pokemon with an Ivy Cudgel. Gonna hit that Terror button. Kinda hoping they don't double down into Frigograph. I'm kind of hoping Ivy Cudgel comes across this way, because then I get off the Hyper Voice and the Trick Room, which would be probably the best bet for me. But if I was him, I'd be like, Ayo, for a graph, I'm doubling down into you, and I'm attacking you right now. And he's going to go for Dazzling Gleam, which actually did a huge chunk of damage. And he's going to taunt me. I got Mental Herb. I got the Herb. That's actually a great play on their end to go for that taunt. Surprisingly, Ogre Pond has taunt, but luckily for me, I got the Herb, baby. I got the Mental Herb. Came in clutch. Came in clutch. Hyper Voice now flying. Big time damage. And to bring it full circle, we got a nice little trick and pop. So, honestly, our opponent made an awesome play. Like, how often does Ogre Pond have taunt? Not too often. That would have worked out perfectly. But I feel bad. I feel bad. That Because we had Mentor. We just had the perfect item. But from here, help in hand. Hyper Voice. Let's wrap this one up. This match should be rather quick, it seems like. Unless they start pulling out some big time plays from us. But there's a lot of things they can't do. They can't use first turn priority. We outspeed. We are just sitting in a beautiful position. Then a protecting spell. Are they gonna double protect? Or are they just gonna let Ogre Pond die? Ogre Pond's gonna die. And guess what? I'm gonna be doing this for the next five turns. Helping hand. Hyper voice. <laughs> We're ripping it. <laughs> We're ripping it. With the mind's eye ability, I'm able to hit these ghost type flutter mains, which is massive. And Ursaluna finally getting the job done. Because the last match, this is kind of what we wanted to do. We want to get out the trick room and get after it. But them having Snarl turn one really kind of screwed me over. Alongside with Ting Lu, I just wasn't doing enough damage. But now, out comes the Ting Lu. That's still fine. I'm still going to be able to go for this hyper voice. Or helping hand hyper voice. Yeah. Or I could, I could go for a blood moon here. But you know what? No, I'm just going to go for Hyper Voice. And we're going to look to rip. So they could protect the Fluttermane again. They could try to. Or they could swap it. I do like where we're sitting. We got really good turns out here. Um, we got the Ogre Pond in the back. And helping Hand coming out here. We're going to finish off the Fluttermane here. How much damage are we doing to this team? I'm curious. I'm curious with this Vessel of Ruins ability out here. We're still doing half damage. I was going to go for a Blood Moon into that. I was gonna try to rip up into that. Maybe I should have, but I need I want the helping hand boost. So he goes for a throw chop. Can you soak this? Don't. That would have been massive. 
that thing would have soaked it. But still, a lot of value out of Ursula. We've got plenty of turns left in the Trick Room. Um, from here, I think we just save our Fluttermane for late game. We just go into Ogre Pod. We just go into the Ogre Pod. So Ogre Pod flying out here. They could Sarasalize Ting Lu, which is definitely an option. And they're going to go into Entei as well with probably speed, but you can't, you can't e-speed me. You cannot e-speed me. So I'm going to Gleam here, and I might just spiky shit. See how many turns are left in Trick Room. Let's see. Can I hit B? Check status. There we go. Got two turns left in Trick Room, so maybe I should save this turn. Maybe I should save this turn. I'm going to go for Dazzle Gleam. I'm just going to double down into... I'm just gonna double down in Tinglu. Or I could attack Entei. Yeah, I'm gonna attack Entei here. Entei's more of a threat. Entei's definitely more of a threat. And I think they're gonna Sarasalize Tinglu rather than Entei. Nope, I lied. I lied. So big time terror comes out here. Grass. It's a grassy guy. It's a grassy guy. And as long as my Frigger stays on the field, we can just stop the speed all day. That's gonna be cooking. Doing a little bit of damage on the booth. He's gonna go for a throw chop to KO you. No, I survived. That's massive. So no, no e speeds for you. You're gonna go for a sacred fire, which I see. No burns allowed. What did I say? I said no burns allowed. I said no burns allowed. The Ivy Cudgel coming in high here. Give me a crit. Let me do a little bit of something, and we do nothing. We do nothing. So, from here, I mean, I still have what's it called, which is good. I still have Fluttermane. I've throw, I have been throw chop. I still have Fluttermane, which is tough. This one's actually going to be really close. I'm just going to have to try to make sure this Pokemon goes out here. So I'd rather choice in a Moonblast. But that's going to come out here. It's going to do a little bit of damage. It's going to go for a throw chop. It's going to finish me off. Ogre Pie, can you go first? I really don't want choice in Dazzle Gleam. And he's gonna go. Hmm. Tough. Real tough. So now it turns to a 2v1. I am choice. I am choice spec. He can't hit me with an E speed, which is awesome. Which is massive. And I think as long as I eat up a shot here, I should win, right? I should win, but Sacred Fire looking terrifying. We gotta go into Gleam here. We gotta go into Gleam. This is this is looking scary. This is looking real scary. It's a protecting Tinglu. So Tinglu gets to protect, and that's just real smart because now I don't think we can two shot it with this ability on the field. We are choice spec, but let's see how much damage this is doing. Not enough. Not enough. Smart call on their end. This probably one shots me, right? It doesn't. And that just hurts the soul. Smart little protect on their end. We would have won this. We would have won this because we would have taken out Ting Lu and we would have stopped the, the ability here. But by them protecting, it's just so big. Wow, that hurts. That definitely hurts. Zazzle coming in here. Crit? No. We don't stand a chance. We don't stand a chance. And we got one to two for today's video. Which sucked because we played really well today, I thought. I thought we played really well. Definitely a lot of long drawn out battles. But hey, we take some losses on the chin. We go one and two. I'm actually very happy with today's recording. Won our first battle, which was like a 20 minute battle. We lost our next two, but I still feel like all the battles I presented were very strong battles. I feel like we played really well. Our opponent, opponents played really well. They were just solid Pokemon battles all the time. But guys, that is gonna be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.